are recording and of course streaming to all of our followers out there on Facebook. All right, great. Let's share my video screen here. Okay, great. Looks like we're all set. All right, so thank you everyone so much for joining uh, VIP Video Talk. For everyone who's joined us uh, via Facebook, thank you for taking a moment to just tune in and check out our live broadcast. Uh, my name is Brian Van Meter. I'm our marketing manager here at Grandstream Networks. Today we're going to give a quick overview and talk about the new GXV3380. It's our brand new high-end smart video phone for Android recently released last week. Uh, so just to give a quick overview of what we'll be doing, I'll go over the technical specs of the device, uh, some of the setups with it, features, functionality. Now go ahead and answer any questions you may have, uh, whether it be through our chat feature via IP video talk, and then of course I will come back to the comments a little bit later on. Uh, for everyone joining us via IP video talk, just know that the presentation and the slides will be available a little bit later on. But anyway, with no sur further ado, excuse me, let's go ahead and get started. So like I said, we're talking about the GXV3380 today, our new high-end smart video phone for Android. So just to give a quick overview of the device, it's our IP video phone for Android and it combines a 16-line IP video phone with a multi-platform video collaboration solution, and of course the functionality of an Android tablet, really offers all-in-one communication solution. So a key thing here as well with the device is we want to design a video conferencing solution and a multimedia solution that would work just as great on an executive desktop that needed and required the uh, use for the many different IP video uh, lines along with the uh, sort of multimedia productivity driving capabilities uh, that would be brought with the Android side of things. Um, and we also want to be able to present something that could also work great for smaller huddle rooms, for example. All right, so just to give a quick feature overview, it runs on Android 7.1.1. Uh, 2MP plus CMOS sensor uh, with ISP as an eight inch uh, captive LCD touchscreen. Uh, dual display uh, support as well with the device, and we'll go into that, uh, what that means a little bit later here in the presentation. Dual band Wi-Fi as well for those deployments that are utilizing Wi-Fi voice, Wi-Fi video capabilities, for example, through our GWN access points. It also supports Bluetooth 4.2 pairing. Uh, we have an HDMI in and out, USB, micro SD, uh, SD uh, and Kingsington lock features with this device, along with dual mic and noise shield technology. Lastly, we have seven-way audio conferencing with this, just to really make sure you can have as many individuals in on an audio conference as possible, really pushing that collaboration with the device, along with having the three-way FHD video conference capability. And of course, this device does support PoE. All right, so just to take a quick look at the device here, we have our camera shutter at the top, our LED LED indicator. Uh, you can see on the actual interactive display there, we have the call slash pickup, contacts, conferencing, and call transfer all easily and intuitively placed on the right side of the LCD touch to, uh, display uh, with our SIP accounts being on the left of the display, really pushing an easy user interface with this device. Uh, we also have actual hard key buttons for volume 
home, menu, and back. Okay, so just to take a quick dive into the actual Android capabilities of this, what we need, mean when we say uh, Android. Uh, it runs on Android 7.x operating system, uh, and really this offers instant access to hundreds of thousands of Android apps. Uh, this really includes Skype and Google Hangouts. Uh, even though it is a desktop communications device, uh, this is part of the reason why we call it a multimedia device, because it enables you to sort of upload these very productivity driving collaboration devices uh, onto your desktop uh, what in this you know normal cases would be a desktop phone for this case it's an IP video phone uh, really helps push the capability of the device and of course because of this uh, the productivity of the user uh, like I said, as a result, it supports all Android 7.x compliant applications. Anything that too uh, will be developed uh, can be downloaded and embedded on the device uh, with provisioning control as well. All right, quick look at the display here. It actually comes with a built-in two megapixel camera for that video com uh, calling, enabling that crystal clear video. Privacy shutter, excuse me, front privacy shutter as well, uh, a little bit of tongue tied there. Uh, eight inch uh, captive 10 point touch screen, and then the 1080p HD video capabilities as well, built in with device just to make sure you're always getting that crystal clear video, uh, especially when anything is being shared to the screen. All right, talking about video conferencing with the device here, we have built in three-way HD video conferencing with the device over uh, SIP conferencing. Uh, of course, this can be expanded, like I said, with the Google Hangouts, Skype, and other video conferencing applications to the Android uh, application of the device. Uh, you can join SIP conferences from a desktop even. Uh, view video content can be shared as well, uh, et cetera. Uh, HDMI output to connect to TV monitors. So this is big for large, uh, excuse me, uh, for our huddle rooms, uh, your sort of conference room deployment scenarios with this where uh, the room itself really isn't big enough to warrant a large video conferencing device. Um, in that case though, uh, this phone, especially with the capability of having Wi-Fi, it could be brought into a huddle room when any kind of video conferencing is needed. Uh, connected with HDMI output to the TV monitors. We also enable HDMI input for content sharing. So if you plug an actual desktop uh, computer or laptop computer into the device, you can actually share what is on your screen as well. All right, and then of course, uh, anti-flickering, autofocus, and auto exposure, all supported on the device. Really, you know, when it comes to desktop video conferencing, uh, auto room video conferencing, you really need to kind of just a plug and play solution here. Uh, and that's what we enabled with the GXV3380. All right, just to give everyone a quick glance of the user interface as well, uh, from top, sorry, the top left audio call, uh, in our three-way conferencing, you can see all the uh, device, excuse me, all the incoming video feeds are organized cleanly on the display. Conferencing controls as well can be brought up to easily control who is sharing video, audio, uh, along with being able to kick people out of the conference in the event that that may be needed. Uh, dial pad is designed to have a crisp and clean design, uh, especially with the touchpad capability. You want individuals to be able to really easily and intuitively understand how to place, make, transfer calls, etc. Uh, Three-way audio conference gives you a clear uh, indication of who is joining the actual conference, who is talking, who is muted, etc. Of course, it has the conference video recording features built in with the device as well. And you can see that in the bottom right there. Uh, something worth noting as well, just for the video conference I want to point out, um, you can see in the bottom right and in the, uh, the middle top, um, you can organize the actual video conferencing tiles in two different ways. Either um, everything has the same aspect ratio, you can see that in the top, uh, or by active speaker, which you can see in the bottom right.
All right. Uh, so just talking about deployment scenarios really quick here. Uh, small and mid-sized businesses usually will be the ones that will uh, sort of be able to benefit the most from this. We're talking about the small and mid-sized uh, executives along with any type of huddle rooms where video conferencing capabilities are definitely needed. However, uh, because of any kind of just typically budgetary constraints, um, a full-on device may not be able to be deployed. Uh, the GXV 3380 heater is a perfect, uh, perfect choice in that case. Uh, in enterprises, this is great uh, for any type of executive desktop where those multimedia tools can really push the productivity. Uh, security as well, which we'll talk on this, this actually can be a great security device and a residential device if deployed into high-end residential apartment buildings. Uh, we'll touch on that in a second. And last but not least, our remote, remote workers, can't forget about them. Uh, they definitely require a powerful desktop device to stay productive, stay connected with everyone throughout their network, anyone who then may be on site uh, that they're separated from. Uh, they can easily join, meet, and collaborate with them with this device. Uh, keep in mind as well those kind of like extra little productivity driving capabilities uh, with the content sharing built in with the device as well. So one second, there we go. My screen kind of froze a little bit on my side there, but we're all set. All right, so talking about the conference capabilities here, uh, of course the eight inch uh, 1280 by 800 captive touchscreen uh, really enables a vibrant video conferencing experience. Uh, you really, you know, with some of our competitors, you kind of need to lean in, strain your neck to even see the video. Uh, this really allows for a large video conferencing experience, vibrant, easy to see what's going on, all from the desktop endpoint. Uh, this is really ideal for HD video conferencing scenarios, uh, just to touch on each of them here. Of course, any type of video conferencing capabilities, we're talking about huddle rooms, smaller media rooms, where this device can actually just be brought into utilizing its Wi-Fi capabilities. All you really need uh, is just, a, uh, excuse me, just a power slot. Uh, sales calls. Of course, this is a huge, huge deal, especially for remote sales workers. Um, you know, really seeing that visual communication is a huge part of the communication process. This can really help sales teams uh, communicate with their clients and land deals even faster and close them. Uh, just touched on remote workers, but you know, just as a quick refresh on that one, our remote workers are typically geographically separated, so we need to be able to bring them in so that they can collaborate with, with the rest of the team, uh, rest of their company. Uh, this device really enables that. Multiple office communication, always a big deal. Being able to communicate site to site, collaboration with the GXV 3380 here, very seamless with the video conferencing capabilities and the avail availability to audio conference multiple parties in. Uh, doctor and medical consultations, it's typically a lot easier when you're able to speak face-to-face -face with your doctor, face-to-face -face with your medical consultant. Uh, this really helps ease that communication and lets you know that you're kind of honestly talking with another person there. Uh, this is great for our doctors and medical consultants out there, uh, whether it be in their own private office or in their actual practice as well. Last but not least in the education space, parent-teacher meetings benefit a lot when you're able to speak face-to-face -face with someone, especially with the three-way capabilities. You can bring in uh, any type of traveling students, traveling parents, um, the teachers or administration if needed. Content sharing allows individuals to share any type of presentations that may be needed as well. Okay, uh, so yeah, so I'd talk on it a little bit here. So security teams, um, this is also great to be deployed in any kind of security office, um, any type of security, um, you know, checkpoint. Uh, main reason for this, the GXV 3380, it actually integrates seamlessly with our GDS facility access systems. So it literally allows security staff to monitor uh, any spaces that the GXV excuse me, uh, GDS facility access systems are deployed into, uh, even including if any calls are made in, it can go directly to the device itself, bring up the video feed, uh, for example, with the 3710. 
and then access can either be denied or granted. This is ideal for apartment buildings, hotel security, our office spaces, retail spaces. So if you're thinking larger malls and department stores that could have several uh, different sort of entrances through back, at, back ways, these can all be controlled and monitored easily all from one spot. You don't need security staff getting up every time someone's at the door to go check in. All right, guys, so that just gives a quick overview of the device, its features, capabilities, and some of its deployment capabilities as well. Uh, so I'll just go ahead and come back here. Uh, let me bring my screen back up uh, so I can answer any questions we may have. Okay. All right. There I am. All right, guys. So I'm just going to go ahead and ask, uh, excuse me, answer questions. Uh, if you're all set, feel free to go. I'm not going to hold you or anything like that. Thank you so much for joining. Uh, but otherwise, if you want to stick around, thank you so much. I'm going to go ahead and take a quick look here. Uh, David asked, will the Android version of the device be upgradable in the future? We believe so on that one, especially at least with the 7.x 7, uh, 7 operating system. It'll continue to be upgraded there. As for going to, for example, 8.x or 9.x, just stay tuned on that. I'm pretty sure it's a yes, but let me follow up with the engineers before I give you a firm answer. Um, Vadim asks, how can you video conference from this phone to clients who do not have this device? Uh, it's a good question. There's a lot of different ways that you can do this. The primary ways are using the actual multimedia tools that are presented through the Android store. So for example, you could download Skype, you could download Google Hangouts, you could even use uh, IP Video Talk, which is the video conferencing software we're using right now, presented by Grandstream. These are all great options. If they have any kind of just SIP capable um, or VoIP capable, I believe, video conferencing device for that, keep, um, for that extent, they're actually able to join through the conference as well. So for example, I'm using our GBC 3200 series. It's our actual video conferencing device. People would actually be able to join any type of calls through this or the phone itself, the 3380 could join conferences as well um, through SIP to SIP conferencing that way. All right. Uh, when will it ship in quantity? Uh, unfortunately, I'm marketing, so I'm not too sure for that. I can't speak for every single um, sales region, for that matter. Uh, just feel free to follow up with your distributors uh, or your, you know, your Grandstream sales rep. If you have any questions, they'll be able to give you uh, more information on quantity shipping on that and volume. I think that's that's the major ones. Uh, Daniel, why is there any more? I'm not sure what you mean with the IP video talk. Oh, okay, yes, yeah, so it, it can be integrated with um, IP video talk, Daniel, as well. Okay, all right, well, I think I touched on most of the questions here. If you guys come up with any more afterwards, feel free. I'm gonna send out an email with the presentation and the slides afterwards or recording. If you have any more questions, feel free to just reply to the email then and get back to me. If you're watching via Facebook, please, please, please go ahead and comment. If you have any questions, I will definitely get back to you there as well. Thank you so much for joining everyone. I hope you have the rest of, I hope the rest of your week is wonderful. Thank you, bye-bye.